We sometimes also get diabetic foot ulcers, um, amputated ones, but for now we do tummy tuck. So we make a hole in the center, uh, we put in a petri dish, and we take the sponges which we put traps on it, which is our technology. We put the sponge into the wound and we incubate it for six days and then we compare to see if the sponges with our technology has more skin growth into the sponge as the ones as compared to the ones without. So the traps are basically abdomen single-stranded DNA that folds into a certain structure that captures or binds to certain types of proteins based on what you make them to do, uh, make them to bind to, and it has handles. Traps has handles which cells can pull on, and when cells pull onto the handle, the traps unravel like a shoelace, releasing the protein. Um, to the wound for the cells to proliferate or migrate depending on which protein you put. So the good thing about traps is that we can attach it to almost any type of scaffold or matrix or any type of plaster that you want. So if it's for the skin, it could it could look like some um, a bigger version of the sponges, but if it's in bones, for example, it could be in bioactive glass. So it could be used for many different applications. This is the, the red thing is the sponge which we put into the skin biopsy. So the surrounding area is the skin and this is the control without traps. Uh, so I'll show you the one with traps. So the yellow part is the skin that is growing into the sponge. So you can see that with our technology, you get a lot more skin growing into the sponge, which is what we want. These are endothelial cells, which are cells that form the blood vessels. So one way to look at it to see if um, it might grow into blood vessels is the initiation of sprouting by endothelial cells outwards. So these cells, these beads are in hydrogels with um, this one with traps. For current technologies, usually the way they deliver the proteins is either through a spray or a gel. So it doesn't really integrate into the wound, it degrades very quickly. But this one, we have something that attaches to, for example, a scaffold or a hydrogel. So it can take on the shape of the wound if you like, and it can be used on different, um, different organs as well. So in that sense, it, it's more targeted. Yeah.